probably get this fellow back on with us again for a full hour because after I began to research him, it's just really amazing. We hear about all these treatments for things like Ebola. Is it colloidal silver? Is it ozone therapy? Is it going in a barometric chamber? I thought, why not get a renowned emergency medicine MD, board certified, affectionately known as the father of medical freedom for spearheading uh, the first state uh, protection for alternative unconventional medicine in Alaska in 1990 that spread around the rest of the country. Uh, it's Dr. Rowan, MD com or DocRowan.com. He joins us. He's been to Africa dealing with Ebola recently. He's working with their governments there in alternative th treatments. And I've seen news reports where their Africans are saying it's been working. Uh, so, uh, Doctor, thanks for coming on with us. Tell us where you've been in Africa, uh, what your view overall on the Ebola situation is, and what you think of the response uh, has been like. And then let's talk about what you've been able to do with ozone. Well, I've been working. Thank you, Alex. It's an honor to be with you. I've been working with ozone therapy since 1986, longer than any other living person in North America. I got the idea to go to North Africa or West Africa several months ago when this thing really got hot uh, because ozone is um, probably the most ideal treatment there is for this. I was just listening to your commercials before you brought me on and you talked about certain types of oxygen therapy and longevity therapies, etc. Suppose you had a therapy that was absolutely dirt cheap that could be done for less than a dollar per treatment and has the following four parameters. One, it improves the rheologic properties of blood flow. That means blood flows better. Two, it releases more oxygen from the red cells and it helps the mitochondria burn that oxygen to make energy. Three, it modulates the immune system, meaning if the immune system is way up here, like it is with Ebola, when you get uh, at the end stage, you get what's called a cytokine storm. That's collateral damage. Your immune system comes out with all of its bullets and artillery, firing it at everything, and it gets you. But ozone modulates that process and brings it down. Ozone, if your immune system is down here, will bring it back up to where it should be. So it dials back the hemorrhagic response? It should. And then the final thing is ozone is directly viral inactivating by biochemical processes. Viruses are inactivated by heat, by ultraviolet, and by oxidation. And ozone is the ultimate oxidant, and it's non-toxic. So it should totally knock out the Ebola virus instantly. Now, we went over there to teach doctors how to do it, and we taught a lot. We turned heads in the medical community. We turned, I mean, Doctors, their biggest doctors came to our lectures and learned how to do this. And some of them came highly skeptical and left absolutely blown away. The well, I know this just reading the news. The Queen of England and the Queen Mother, who lived over 100, are obsessed with barometric chambers, ozone treatment, you name it. And I was talking to a doctor that runs one of the most elite clinics in Austin for the rich people. And he said that's what they're all doing is running their blood, even when they're healthy, uh, through uh, ozone systems, uh, yes. through machines that use uh, uh, ultraviolet light. So this is actually known. I mean, I, I understand you're a pioneer of it. I'm just surprised that it's not more widespread. Well, let's look at what happened in Sierra Leone, and then you won't be surprised. Of all the people who didn't come to our, by the way, we were invited by the president of Sierra Leone, and we met twice with him. And we also met with his key advisor. Now, the only people who didn't come to our lectures who should have were the Minister of Health and the Deputy Minister of Health and those who are making over $100,000 a year administering their Ebola program. Mind you, in a poor country like Sierra Leone, those people are making more than I do on a yearly basis for administering their Ebola program. They didn't come to the lectures. Now, what does that tell you? And then at the last minute, when the treatment was in the Ebola Center. We went to the Ebola Center. The machine was there. The staff lined up. They were skeptical at first, but the staff at the Ebola Center, by the way, I didn't treat Ebola, so people don't have to worry. I wasn't face to face with an Ebola patient. I was there treating staff. Um, 
not treating, instructing. <clears throat> um, the staff jockeyed, they vied, they competed to get treatments to protect themselves. But a call came in while we were there from the deputy minister of health, and then a second call came in from the minister of health telling the military major who was in charge of the, of the government facility, quote, if you value your job, there will be no ozone treatments at the facility, end quote. Unbelievable. And by the way, you're, on, uh, you're under quarantine right now, self-quarantine, correct? Yes, uh, it's modified. I'm, they're, they're not upset if I go outside, but I have to monitor my temperature every day, a couple times a day. If I go out, I have to do it before and after. I have no quarrel with this. It's the proper thing to do, and I'm not seeing patients at the present time, because what patient would want to come in and see me during this time? But my quarantine is over next week. How long have you been at, uh, back from Africa? Um, two weeks. So, yeah, I mean, that's just another week and you're done then. Yes. What do you think of this doctor? I know you don't like to throw stones, but this doctor in New York that had a fever had come back and went to bowling alleys on the subway to restaurants. And then uh, the police said he lied and said he hadn't gone outside, but they got his credit card receipts. <laughs> You're right. I don't like to throw stones. Um, I'm trying to be very, uh, let's talk about what I'm doing. Yeah, let's talk about what you're doing because I don't like overall the, the Obama response I've seen. Alternative treatments are being shut down in Africa, we've read. I mean, is that an accurate statement? Yes. I mean, we brought, we brought a treatment that is absolutely safe. It's published in the world literature that it's absolutely safe. It is extraordinarily effective at infectious disease, at modulating the immune system. This was published in peer-reviewed journals. There's absolutely no question How about is this it. particular therapy delivered? The therapy we went to teach is real simple. You take some oxygen ozone gas. The gas, I mean, you're, it's not air, Alex. Air is 80% nitrogen. Do you understand the difference? Yes. This is 100% oxygen, of which 4% of it is ozone. And it's about maybe this, you start with maybe 20 cc's, and then each treatment you, you take a little bit more. It's oxygen, it's metabolically active, it's consumed, so it's not like shooting air or nitrogen into you. No, no, I understand, because all the elites, for as you know, for years are obsessed with this and get the treatments. And, and, and again, explain how it's, it's different than air, uh, and why it's then safe to be shot right into the veins. Well, it's a, well. first of all, for Ebola, you don't want medical waste. The only waste here, the only thing that's contaminated is the butterfly needle that goes in your vein here. That's all. It's just a very tiny 27-gauge butterfly, and then there's a syringe about this big. Well, the syringe doesn't touch the blood. The needle does. So that's disposable, and that costs, what, 30 cents, 40 cents? Well, let me ask that's you this. Why are the elite so obsessed with this? If they don't have Ebola, why are they constantly getting it, and why are people always telling me to get it? I know medical doctors that say, come in, I'll give you a treatment. They're getting rich off of it right now. I mean, I mean I'm sure you know as one of the leading guys in this, this is really hot. I teach this. I'm going to be on the oxidation chair of the American College for Advancement in Medicine, and I'm chairing the workshop next week. I've been doing this for years. I think ozone is the ultimate anti-aging treatment that there is. Why? Because we know for sure, ozone stimulates the production of superoxide dismutase, SOD. And SOD is a part and parcel of the activity of an enzyme called telomerase. Telomerase is what nourishes the end cap of your chromosomes. The better your telomerase, the better your telomere, the healthier your DNA, and the longer you live. My telomeres uh, at age 60, I'm, I'm older than that now, were the average length of a 35-year-old. Um, how old are you? Because you look like you're like 55. Uh, I love you, Alex. Thank you. No, I'm not I'll kidding. Be, I mean, you look. If I saw you on the street, I'd say that guy's 55. I'll be 65 in a week. Wow. Wow. So, so I mean, reading the literature, we got to have you back for a full hour soon. You, you pioneered this, and and I'm not kidding. I know national radio hosts that get these every week. Two of them. I know a bunch of really successful. I mean, really rich people, billionaires that get it every month or so. Um, and, and then all these other uh, people are into it, all these exercise enthusiasts are into it. 
but then almost everybody else I talk to has never heard of it, and they go, oh, yeah. I mean, and I haven't done it yet. I'm intending to do it. They go, I'll never inject air into my vein. That'll kill you. They just don't understand. Well, first of all, to understand why it's not out there, follow the money trail. How much money is it to inject 20 cc's, 30 cc's of oxygen gas? It ain't much. Even if you do it the way I've been doing it for years, which is major autohemotherapy, where you take blood out, add the ozone oxygen gas and put it back in, no drug company is going to make billions of dollars on this because you can't patent it. Ozone therapy has been around since 1920, for God's sake. It was even used in the First World War by Germans. Well, I know you can look it up that the royal family is obsessed with it. I mean, they're not stupid. And look at their health. They're really quite in good health. They also do homeopathy, too. And then they have people making fun of that and misrepresenting it constantly. It's, 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 it's just incredible. Wow. Well, well, tell us about your website. Tell us about where this is going. I know you're trying to get more attention to this. And I know that some of the presidents over in Africa obviously want it for themselves and their families. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to hide something this powerful, Doctor. Oh. Well, first of all, I, I've posted our story on my, on my Facebook page. There's a public page. Anybody can go to it, Dr. Robert J. Rowan. So you can go there and read my postings. I have an incredible YouTube channel with well over 100 patients, and many of them before and after treatments, some of them crippled when they walked in the door, and they're dancing out, swinging their hips afterwards. That YouTube channel is youtube.com slash user slash Robert Rowan, MD, R-O-W-E-N is my name. Uh, you can find that easy. Uh, there's a lot of videos of me on YouTube, but you want to go to the channel to see the patients. And I even have patients that we, doctors from Sierra Leone that we recorded both before and after. And you need to look at the expression on their face. You'll see things you just wouldn't believe if you didn't see it. And by the way, the day after the government shut down our attempt to use ozone on Ebola patients there, the foreign minister called my physician host who was trying to get this through and he wanted ozone treatment for his mother and his family because she was in an Ebola area. Isn't that interesting? So they'll shut it down for everybody, but they still want it for themselves. Well, look, I'll be honest, I've been hearing about this ozone injections and these treatments they do, taking the blood out, there's other systems for years, but now it is all the rage. And I've seen people I know that are like 65 years old that are already, one of them is a well-known sports champion that I'm friends with, and he just looks so much younger from the ozone treatments, and it's amazing. I think I'm going to do it. Uh, but I'll probably consult with you, doctor, about where I should go and what the best treatment would be, because I know you're one of the grand poobahs of it. I, I hope you can come back in the next few weeks for a full hour uh, to really you know, send us the points you want to go over, play some clips of your videos, and do a special hour uh, on this, because alternative medicine that's been proven uh, to be so effective is, is, is just a gift that you and others are helping promote out to the world, so we salute uh, what you're doing but it's so simple we operate off oxygen so supercharged <laughs> oxygen with ozone uh, just does amazing things inside the body and and i've also read from the scientists the mainline literature that oxygen levels are low uh, in the planet's history right now as well correct yeah, actually, our oxygen levels are probably getting lower as we're destroying more of the plant life that create that, that, that puts oxygen out. Sure, yeah. But the most important thing to your body above everything is oxygen. And it's a long way from oxygen out here to oxygen in the tip of your finger inside the circuit in, inside your body. It's a long route. And ozone is incredible at helping that process out. Oxygen is the fundamental of life for us. And all healing is dependent upon oxygen. No kidding. You don't have it, you die. Okay, well, promise you'll come back for a full hour. Dr. Robert Rowan, MD, drrowanmd.com, docrowan.com. We're going to tweet again the link out to your YouTube page. Uh, just amazing information. Thank you for spending time with us, and good job uh, to Nico Acosta for getting you on. Thank you so much, Alex. One final question I forgot to ask before you go. So just to be clear, I saw it in the news. You're there. The doctors are loving it. And then they ban the treatment in the country. And, and I mean, that's just amazing.
The doctors loved it. It was the Ministry of Health that that axed it. And it, this is just an opinion now. It's it's my personal opinion. I believe they're more interested in getting the millions and millions of dollars coming in to, to, to dig graves and to incinerate the bodies than they are in trying something that has been proven safe to actually save the life. We wanted to put the grave diggers out of business, not get more money in for grave digging. All right. Well, God bless you. It makes a lot of sense. We need oxygen. <laughs> wow. What a thought. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Next, we're going to say that divers underwater need it. That's why they call us conspiracy theorists. Uh, before we go back uh, to break and come back with this amazing piece Rob Dew put together, uh, oxy powder. They tried to get me on this for two years. It's another special form of oxygen. Uh, this is all you know, patented, certified proprietary by Dr. Group. He's had it for more than a decade out. I finally took it. Rob Dew lost 12 pounds in one week of matter inside of him. It does it painlessly, effortlessly, for me especially, just it all comes out of there. All that extra waste that's in there. And you take five to seven pills a day for a week for a cleanse. Only use about a third of the bottle, myself and Dew. And it's just simply amazing. Oxy powder from Global Healing Center, available discounted exclusively, to, uh, that discount to InfoWarsLife.com visitors. You can get the Survival Shield X2 and all the other amazing products at InfoWarsLife.com. We're only running this special till next week because Survival Shield's about to sell out. 10% off Survival Shield, and I'm still keeping the special. When you get it as part of the Bio Defense Pack with Lung Cleanse for 10% uh, you know, off InfoWarsLife.com. Or until it sells out. It may be sooner than next week. Then we'll just have the regular survival shield, nation iodine, until we get more in. And we're selling out of DNA Force. I want to thank you all for your support. You helped fund the Info War, but these really are revolutionary products. But find out more about oxygen in your gut. Oxy powder, uh, revolutionary, changed my life. InfoWarsLife.com. We'll be back with the Rob New Special. This hour of GCN programming is proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. Protect your privacy and data and render your phone or device completely undetectable. Go under the radar when your phone's not in use with BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution. DNA Force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the InfoWar. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. Americans, you are being lied to. Did your skin crawl when a politician or a stock market guru say that we are in the midst of an economic recovery? According to top insiders, the largest financial meltdown in history is coming. You can prepare, but if you're living paycheck to paycheck, how do you find the cash? If you're fortunate enough to have retirement savings, it's probably not enough. And if it's in the market, it could be wiped out just like the last crash. But this time, it will almost certainly be much worse. Precious metals are a great hedge, but they won't generate immediate cash flow to pay the bills. Learn the secret to creating cash flow and freedom. Get a free copy of my special report at babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 800-704-4117. That's 800-704-4117 or visit babyboomerbackupplan.com. Traditional retirement may not be in the cards, 
but re-inspirement can change everything. Babyboomerbackupplan.com. Well, I could stand in line for this. Rob Dew's sneak peek at Star Wars, The Force Awakens by Disney. You know it's going to be cheesy. In case you're wondering, the new title for Star Wars Episode 7 was just released, and it's going to be called The Force Awakens. <laughs> Interesting title. And we'll see if that still plays out. In the past, there have been title changes at the last minute. Return of the Jedi was going to be called Revenge of the Jedi. And now we all hope that J.J. Abrams can succeed where the prequel failed. And that's to create a movie with credible acting and not rely on cartoon characters to appeal to that elusive two to six year old demographic. What's this? A local. But where the prequel did go right is by illustrating the false flag operation and the Hegelian dialectic. In order to ensure the security and continuing stability, the Republic will be reorganized into the first galactic empire. Secure Emperor Palpatine, or the emperors he is referred to by the time he was thrown down a reactor shaft, started off as a mild-mannered senator from Naboo. He then hatched a multi-decade plan using many different alien races as his useful ID-10Ts. That's idiots for all you out there who don't speak nerd. These aren't the droids you're looking for. These aren't the droids we're looking for. He secretly initiates the creation of two armies, manages to get elected chancellor under the guise of a humanitarian crisis. My first act with this new authority, I will create a grand army of the Republic to counter the increasing threats of the separatists. Then starts a war where both sides of the conflict have unlimited budgets to fight a war on hundreds of battlefronts, thereby draining the resources of all sides, and doing this under the nose of the Jedi, who just can't seem to realize that the guy walking and talking with them is a Sith Lord. Mm, the dark side clouds everything. The Emperor even manages to off all of his commanders and convinces his new apprentice, Darth Bad Acting, to kill all the remaining leaders of his confederacy, so he is then the only person with total knowledge of his master plan. He will take care of you. Lord Sidious promised us peace. He only wants... Look up the Night of the Long Knives if you want a historical example for that one. Fast forward 18 years, the Supreme Chancellor disbands his dysfunctional government in favor of a dictatorship I have just received word that the Emperor has dissolved the Council permanently. Thus completing a galaxy-wide false flag which started off as a seemingly small planetary trade blockade on his home planet. So by playing off all sides against each other and creating a crisis, which is the Confederacy with a giant drone army, he is able to pull off the Hegelian dialectic by providing his own convenient clone army which he started creating years ago. Emperor Palpatine is the perfect technocrat dictator. It's treason, then. So while it remains to be seen out there what will be seen in Episode 7, whether it's Chrome Stormtroopers, the Inquisitor, or Chewbacca with a bionic hand, it will be interesting to see if J.J. Abrams can harness the archetypes and historical references that George Lucas used all so well. The fact that he is now under the Disney umbrella probably means anything meaningful won't be seen in this film. There will be a lot of flash and a lot of lens flares. That I can almost assure you. I find your lack of faith disturbing. But I do have a new hope that he will do a better job than George Lucas in creating a stylistic masterpiece. And if you would like a complete history of false flags, pick up a copy of Terror Storm, a history of government-sponsored terrorism, at the InfoWars store, or you can watch it free on YouTube. Please write in the comments below which in your mind is the biggest false flag that we've seen since 1977, which is the year Star Wars premiered. This has been Rob Dew with InfoWars.com, and may the Force be with you. Well done, Lord Dew. <laughs> That's it for this transmission. Great job, folks. See you Sunday. Help me, I'm weak. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. 
InfoWarsLife.com. Check it out today. I have set out to bring you the most hardcore, cutting-edge supplements and nutraceuticals bar none, and that's what you'll find at InfoWarsLife.com. We have rejected literally hundreds of products from the InfoWars Life line because they are not of the very highest quality or because they're not 100% organic or because they don't pass all of the strictest toxicology tests there are that we have listed at InfoWarsLife.com. Whether it's Survival Shield Nascent Iodine or DNA Force, Super Mel Vitality, Super Female Vitality, Lung Cleanse, Fluoride Shield, Oxy Powder. I believe that all of these products will blow you away like they've done the thousands of other customers that have visited InfoWarsLife.com and believed in us and tried the products. Folks, check out InfoWarsLife.com today and the entire line of groundbreaking, cutting-edge, hardcore products.